Are you testing on people right now? No, we're not testing on people yet, but I, I think it won't be too long. I think we may be able to implant a neural link in less than a year in, in a person, I think. And when you do this, is there any test that you have to do before you do something like this to, to see what percentage of people's bodies are going to reject these things? Is, it, is, it, there, is there a potential for rejection? It's, it's a very low potential for rejection. I mean, you can think of it like people put in, you know, heart monitors and, um, you know, things for ep epileptic seizures and deep brain stimulation. Um, obviously, like, you know, artificial hips and right. knees and that yeah. kind of thing. So the, the probability of, I mean, like, it's, so it's well known, like, what will cause rejection and what, what will not. Um, it's definitely harder when you've got something that is uh, um, re re sort of reading and writing neurons it, it, that's that's generating a, a current pulse and reading current pulses. That's that's a little harder um, um, than than a, than, a, than say a passive device. But it's still you know very doable and um, yeah. There, there there are people who have primitive devices in in their brains right now. What kind of devices? Uh, well, like deep, deep brain stimulation is. Uh, I think for Parkinson's is, uh, has really changed people's lives in, in a big way.